Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Go Gaming. Bane here, showing off some Orc Skirmish PvP today. Now, you may be thinking, there's no sound, Bane. Why have you not got the sound? Well, because when I recorded this, I didn't record myself. Uh, I ended up just recording my partner. In this case, it will be Draconis for today. Now, <clears throat> I play with Draconis quite a lot. He's a former developer, we all know that. On Armada 3, and... Um, I felt that uh, since he had the game, that it'd be good if we teamed up for some 2v2. Now, we'd heard a lot of bad stuff about Orcs, so we wanted to see for ourselves whether Orcs were actually that bad. And I can tell you, we were pleasantly surprised. Now, don't get me wrong, we've also played Elder and we've also played Chaos. We started off with Chaos first, just because as you may know, I'm a bit of a Warhammer 40k Chaos fan. And what I can say is that all factions are quite unique at this point. Now here you can see me just setting up my uh, ships and getting ready to start and you'll notice that I've already set my orc ships to um, have some auto cast there so on the right pane you can see all the normal toggle buttons that you'd expect in the strategy game and I must say this UI is very strategy game like and you can see the ones flashing and pulsing green. Now that's the lightning strike and lock on which is core abilities available on most factions or in fact on all factions in this case. And one is a boarding action or an assault action which teleports troops onto the enemy ship and one increases accuracy otherwise known as lock on or the little crosshair as you can see there. Now in Battlefleet Gothic everything appears as kind of these red pips if they're not identified. And there are certain ways to identify ships. You can shoot auger arrays at them. They find all little scanning probes. Again, I find them pretty useless because you're going to end up in combat eventually anyway. It doesn't really help to know. These are auger arrays. You can see now really what the ships are any sooner. That's my opinion. Some people disagree. However, um, a lot of people take them, especially with Nova Cannon spam. But the Nova Cannon, which was a powerful weapon at the start of the VFT layer, has been nerfed and is now an inaccurate piece of crap. So... Yes, you could take lots of Nova Cannons, but it's not going to win your PvP matches as it used to. You can see some boarding torpedoes coming from with a special Orc torpedo that actually does an assault action if it hits, so they're quite unique to the Orcs. Now, Orcs themselves, they're really slow. You can see it's taken an absolute age with our crap traction engines to get across the actual map. They're also terribly bad at shooting, as per 40k. <coughs> and finally, they also really, really, really need some assistance in terms of doing any kind of long range damage because they can't really hit anything so they're not going to do a lot of damage from rain so really you need to be all up in their grill to quote goal who likes to say things like that really so we're trying to slowly move across and you can see there's fighters protecting the enemy fleet that doesn't deter us though as we keep piling on the pressure and you can see me sending away the torpedoes their way just to keep the pressure on hey if I do get a hit I might cause a, a lightning strike action which could blow up a piece of their engineering, their generators, could even take out a weapon or two, may even set them on fire. So it's worth just keeping on spamming those torpedoes anyway, of course unless you don't want to give away your position. Pretty pointless about worrying about giving away your position in my opinion because you still appear as a bloody red dot unless you have silent running, which orcs do not currently get unless you have the commando's favour. Now <clears throat> in my opinion we all talked about orcs not being that great. Well, that's because you have to get close. And people like Eldar uh, will use their long range pulsars to try and take you out from a distance. Now, this is problematic, of course, but there are certain things you can do to try and stop people running away from your slow orc ships. First of all, you'll notice that most of our ships are using the first ability you get um, available to most group, uh, races, but not many people take it, which is taunts. And Taunt is a really powerful tool, especially good against Eldar. What Taunt does, and you'll see from this video, is it will actually um, taunt an object towards you. Uh, and in conjunction with your rams and other abilities, you can then get ships really close. Now, I haven't done it yet, and you can see some of our ships there are actually being caught in what's known as a stasis bubble or a stasis bomb. Okay, That means that when that red circle gets to max, you can see that it freezes all the ships in it. Now, it only lasts 30 seconds. It's still rather annoying though, especially if people want to line you up with torpedoes. And here you can see I've used a Torn. That ship now is forced to attack me. I'm now also using another ability in conjunction with my RAM called Tractor Cannon. Although, unfortunately, my ship decided to go on a little bit of a wrong course because I didn't actually plot the course properly. However, these things happen. 
Now, <coughs> there is one favor that I think is really useful for orcs, and the best one of them all is trap to cannons. And that comes if you take a certain favor um, from the orc faction. Now, it's the first favor of this. I forget, I think it's Evil Sons uh, from memory. I always get the names wrong with these, so I do apologize if that's wrong, but I bring it Evil Sons. Basically, they paint you red, they give you trap to cannons on your ship. What does a tractor cannon do? Well, it's basically like a giant grav cannon. Uh, it pulls things towards the direction that you want. So you click on the ship, you drag it around to where you want it to go, and you kind of pull it towards you. That can be ever so helpful for orcs, especially if you're facing someone annoying like, oh, I don't know, Eldar or Chaos, which seem to have really fast ships. And you can see there's one being tracked into one of our ships now. Now you've got to remember with orcs, it's actually about ramming ships half the time or getting close enough to use your guns with knock-on. So as you can see, we're just tractoring these enemy ships into our ships. Now it's not working too well because they've got orcs as well. So, you know, bear in mind that you're not undestructible just because you're ramming things, you know. If you get rammed just as much in orc, you will still take damage. Not as much, admittedly, as other ships, but you're still gonna take damage. The reason for that is with orc vessels, a light cruiser would count as a cruiser level armor, a cruiser would count as a battle cruiser level armor, a battle cruiser counts as a battleship, and an orc battleship, well, you don't want to get rammed by one of those. But the point being is, they have really heavy armor, so they're very, very tough units, quite hard to destroy. Now, there is some major downsides to playing the orcs as well. If you don't take a certain upgrade, known as the um, Chain Squigs upgrade, your captains will become insubordinate if you lose a ship, and they will run away. So you may want to invest in that upgrade as well. However, in this current match, we're not using that upgrade, we're using actually lots of thrusters, and we're using the turning upgrade. This allows us to obviously get a little bit more boost out of our special combustion gauge. It also allows us to actually get a lot more um, from our ships in terms of turning angles, about five degrees extra, which is really important as well, because to be honest with you, they turn like crap. So if you're gonna be rounding things, you kind of need to be there. Now you can see, it's desperately trying to catch a cow. So you can see what I mean, cow ships are a lot faster. And he's not even thrusting away yet. So what do we need to do? We need to get a little bit closer. And there we go. We get a taunt on. So now, the enemy ship is taunted. So he will lose control. He, he might be trying to move away with his thrusters. But the point is, his ship's still taunted. So his ship will want to try and engage me because it is taunted. I'm also using my tractor cannon there, try and bring him in a little closer. And I do kind of want to ram him, I'm not going to think I'll get to him, but the point is I'm getting close enough to use my gun still. And hopefully supporting torpedoes. So I've got supporting torpedoes off, uh, most of them got destroyed, however one hit and it failed sadly. So still fighting the chaos, it's a bit of an interesting and long winded match this one, but we are slowly, slowly grinding them down. And again, I've got another taunt on the ship, this time from my smaller vessel, just so I can get my bigger vessel clear. And here we go, it's a bit of a stalemate now, I've lost my teammate, and to make matters worse, the chaos ship actually has a warp signature so i'm under kind of stuck in two minds what do i go after do i go for the one i'm already trying to get and i think yeah it's probably a good idea to keep on that one and try and take that one out and here i go again with the boarding torpedoes this time uh, and for some reason i tracked it away from my own torpedoes i don't know why i did that as a bad bad move bang bad bad move and you can see what i mean about the disadvantage when you start to lose ships So slowly, slowly, slowly trying to catch this cow ship. Still using all the thrusts I can. Hoping that I'm gonna get lucky. I do get a good lightning strike on it. <clears throat> but I'm not sure it's gonna be enough to finish that particular ship off. I'm trying to take out the engines as well, and that's the other part of Battlefield Gothic that's really important. It's also about trying to take out what you can. Now, I've got an insubordinate captain, I can do nothing now with that ship. So essentially, I'm just going to have to kind of 
go it alone with one ship. And then when you get into this scenario with the Orcs, that's when it becomes really, really, really difficult. So surrounded by two Chaos ships, and I have no way, now that I've lost one ship, of actually catching either of those ships. So I've lost my tractor cannon. This cruiser at the moment does not have a tractor cannon, and it only has a taunt. So what am I going to do? That's the question there. So it's likely that we're going to lose this battle, but that's the thing, guys. I don't want to just show you battles where we always win. I want to show you battles where we don't do so well as well. However, I would say this has been a bad battle for us. Because at the end of the day, we have done quite a bit of damage to the enemy forces. And you can see how much damage, actually, that, that I'm actually kind of undertaking. And I'm going to hit my special move, which recharges my combustion gauge instantaneously. But he boosts, and rightly so, that's what I would do as a Chaos player, he boosts before I can even get there. I do try boarding him with some assault boats, but once again I fail. <coughs> so it's not going the best here at the moment, but hopefully we'll be able to pull it back. Uh, but two ships against one, me being as heavily damaged as I am, I'm very, 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 very sceptical when we go much further, and it's likely my captain eventually will become insubordinate and will probably fly away, being the awful coward that he is. So moving on to the second match that I wanted to show you today and hopefully this one will be a little bit easier to swallow um, and I believe this one was a victory so again starting off same kind of ship set up here lots of torps I do actually have one difference in the ship I not only have torpedoes but I do have um, fighters and bombers as well so still auto tasking away, still moving the torpedoes forward. And here we can see that we're facing, I think it's an Imperial and a Chaos player from memory, but we will soon find out. And uh, <coughs> again, standard formation, trying to move up. Now I will say, out of all the games I've actually played with the Yorks, we've probably won maybe seven out of 10, which isn't bad. You know, people were saying, oh, you can't win with the Yorks at all. They just lose all the time not actually true generally we've won uh, more than we've lost and uh, you can see a zap cannon going off there hitting the enemy already so that's probably the one long range weapon that always hits is the zap cannon uh, emergency stop there just so I don't get hit by this uh, shield burst that's right there I think it's a shield burst and it is and uh, yeah we do dodge that one quite quite well quite nicely um, my ship is there as you guys I've already taunted that ship for some reason he wants to ram my ship uh, which somehow we missed but I think the guy has uh, adapted to what's happening here he's going to try and take him on with his ships <coughs> while I move in on his other cruiser taking the opportunity where I can to cause my trouble and here comes the chaos ships as well so you can see it's a bit of a, a mess at the moment but we're going to try our bus we're going to get ready for what's occurring here now. Now unfortunately cruisers are not yet upgraded with tractor cannons because if they were it would make it so 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 much easier. But I think here I'm going to hit the engines and if I'm right I'm hopefully going to hit or get towards one of the chaos cruisers. Perhaps not. You can see that Dragonis is making short work over there of one of his. Now again, anticipating, trying to see, switch to bombers, launching some more bombers, trying to finish off what we can, hit what we can. Again, the Imperial's trying to ram my cruiser. And the Imperial's probably one of those that can actually get away with that a little bit. I need to bring my ship round so I can actually activate my tractor cannon. But too late, didn't need to in the end. So, trying to get my tractor cannon ready. Want to kind of um, help out my other cruiser, which is what I'm doing now. So, pull it that way, try to get it lined up, ready for my own side. Now, if I don't hit it, hopefully, Draconis will. Cruiser's desperate to try and get away. 
gonna slam straight into my other one who he's gonna boost. Allowing me to get my big cruiser in there and do some damage. A good hit, unfortunately, one of mine is about to fly away in subordinate again. But that's okay. And he actually blew up instead while he was trying to walk away. So I've lost one ship, down to just my cruiser. But <clears throat> I would say in this round, we're actually doing a lot better. We're actually probably on the cusp of winning this. It depends if we can hold our nerve and again keep up. Now we've got some lances coming in from the Imperials as well. A little bit more immune to, to some of the damage here. I'll go for another ram. But sadly, I miss again. Bane, what are you doing? What are you doing? So, he's decided to warp away as well. Knowing that his ship's pretty badly damaged. And seeing that there's more... Uh, oh, the Dragons finishes off the Chaos Cruiser. More of us than they are of them. Uh, and we're still panning it with our guns as well. So our guns might not be brilliant. And there's me saying, Orcs, it's a stomping. Because we did. And, uh, yeah, overall... <clears throat> that was one of the victories we had. So I do have more footage like that, guys. Um, overall, I enjoy the Orcs. I, th I think they're natural. I do think you need the tractor cannons. I do think we need taunt um, and other effects like status bomb to really get the most out of the Orcs. They're all about getting close and staying close. Uh, other skill I would recommend is one that instantly charges your combustion gauge because you know having two sets of rams always good. Um, and uh, crew wise you know I've tried to get my grot skills up where I can uh, so I can actually use my cooldowns more um, and I'm going to get my boys up yes you could take master gunnery but I may mean, want to concentrate on my abilities first um, and uh, try and get more tractor cannons you know and, and stuff working and lots of thrusters because thrusters is important for the orcs Anyway, guys, I hope you've really enjoyed seeing some of this footage just to show you that you can win with the Orcs. I've shown you a loss. I've shown you a win. Uh, give me your feedback on what you think about the Orcs if you've played them yourselves. There will be more videos to come of uh, Orcs and victories, not just losses. And uh, I look forward to uh, doing some more Battlefield Gothic PvP and covering what we've learned. We have uh, quite, done quite well with Elder. We've done quite well with Imperials and Chaos. So we'll get some more of each faction up for you to see soon. But always, as always, this is Bane. Signing out.